Hi all, in this video, we're going to learn about conditional operator. So when to use conditional operator, the first thing is about decisions. So basically it is like if else statements. We also can do a comparisons like if else statements and we must make sure that we only having two possibilities or two outcomes in order to use conditional operators. And the syntax is quite simple. The first part is the conditions followed with a question mark and then the value itself plus double dot and then the second possibility. So let's say if we have if else statements, this one, how how are we going to conduct or convert to conditional operator? Let's uh, try the coding part. I copy and paste the if else statements just now from the uh, slides. Let's say that if if statements compare a and b integers, and then if a is larger than b, we will display a larger than b, or else we will display b larger than a. We declare A and B integers first. So it becomes complete uh, program. Then we can compile and run the program to test whether it works or not. So now B is larger than A. B is larger than A, correct? What about if I reverse it? A now should be larger than B. Let's compile and run. A larger than B. So it is correct. Nothing is wrong. So how are we going to convert these using conditional operators? I try to hide this. And then, okay, from the slide, it show condition, follow with question mark, and then value one, double dot, value two. Okay, so the condition over here means from this one. If a larger than b, you just copy and replace it. And then the values here means the value that uh, affect after this condition is fulfilled. So over here, which is this statement, we are going to print out the statement. So we have to include double quote. And then the second part, which is this one. So now this consider complete. There is no error at all. But if we run this program, it will not see out. It will not see out this statement and these statements. In order to see out, we still have to include the see out. Command and then this one. And we want to see out the whole thing if it is true. So don't forget about the bracket or the parenthesis. And now we can compile and try. So A is 6, B is 3, our output is A larger than B. Okay, reverse it, A equal to 2, B equal to 6. Compile and run. So now B larger than A. This is how we use the condition. This is how we use the conditions for this case. All right, thank you for watching the video.